How is it going, guys? Rudolanel here, coming back at you with some more Python tutorials. We're still looking at the image module from the PIL, or the Python Image Library. And uh, as you can see, uh, relative to the last video, I just kind of trimmed some things down. Um, we don't have the other image in here. We're just working with only one image. So um, very, very easy, and just kind of cut that down for us. Now, I'm sure you guys know that my job is to just kind of introduce these modules to you and introduce the functions, and the greater reading and the greater research is all left up to you. So I'm kind of hopping over some functions or things that I don't think I need to express to you in, in that great of detail. But, um, so take that as a word of wisdom to go research this module and do a bit more, because there are some things that I haven't shown to you yet and may or may not in the series, but um, for now we're still going to plug along. There are some things, though, that I have not covered in full detail or some other functions that I've left out. Um, image eval, I probably won't touch um, unless we're working with other buffers or getting data from strings. Uh, I don't know about it all for sure, or image merging and stuff like that. But go research. Google is your best friend. For now, though, let's jump back to the context of this video. Let's learn about the convert function. So image, you know, we have our image object and we can run a convert function. And what that function will do is it will convert the image to another mode and then return that new image. So we're just gonna, for testing purposes, we can just go ahead and show that at the very end of what we're doing. But it converts to, uh, we can convert right now anyway, sorry. Py.python, py.png is, um, is an RGB image file. We know that, right? So let's make it grayscale, let's say L. Now I can display this, and I'll drag this right over here for you, and it's grayscale. <laughs> okay, nifty. Very, very simple, very easy. All that takes is one function. So when it converts a color image to black and white, though, um, the Python image library uses like this special formula, this thing, I don't know for sure. I guess it's an ITU... Um, hyphen R 601-2 Luma transformation and it's it's this thing so <laughs> it does that with just about everything I wouldn't be able to tell you how it all works but take a look at it man do what you think <laughs> and now when the image is actually being converted to uh, a bi-level image where it's mode 1 and it's like black and white specifically, the source image is first converted to black and white, like grayscale, I figure, or something like that, and then the, all the values that are larger than 127 are set to white and the image is dithered. So if I show this to you, it looks like boom, you know? And if I drag this around, you can see the, pix the pixels like freaking out and moving. It's kind of cool. Like you can see some snakes in there. <laughs> but that's how that works. Or something like that. <laughs> um, you can use um, the convert function with some, like, options. Um, as many options as you want, actually. It passes those in as the rest of these arguments as a, a list or something. So, you can actually supply, like, how, uh, how much dither do you want it to have? What kind of palette should we be looking at? And what colors? Control the number of colors used for the palette if it's being adaptive and stuff like that. You can work with a matrix, and there's plenty of stuff. But there it is. There is your convert function, converting to grayscale, converting to a different set of colors. If you can do that, I don't freaking know. <laughs> but it is up to some experimentation for you and maybe some further research. So go ahead and learn. Soak up all the knowledge. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye.